Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here with a Star Wars The Black Series Top 10 list. This is my top 10 favorite figures of the year. Now, these are all based on figures that I bought. So, in everything that I bought, I did do a review on. So, some figures I didn't get, like some of the Vintage Collection repacks. And, you know, and that's fine. They're figures I already had in the original issue, so I didn't need the repacks of. So, some of those aren't in the consideration for this. I simply went through and looked at how many reviews of new Black Series figures I've done. Now, I did take out older figures from this list, so I'm not considering the Cara Dune figure that I reviewed in January, because that came out in November of last year. So, even though that video came out this year, that was last year's figure. So, I base it exclusively off of things that came out this year that I bought and did videos on. All of the videos you can find if you go through my channel. So, I picked 10 out of 50 figures 50 black series figures spot this year and that is not including duplicates everything that was a trooper that came out this year i at least ended up with two of and i'm honestly pretty happy with that and that nearly that probably brings my grand total bot this year it's probably close to 100 figures this year uh that's that's kind of scary but you know hey it is what it is it's my hobby and i, and I enjoy it anyway i'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom of my list at spot number 10 not a bad spot remember this means that he's in the top 20 percent basically because number 10 out of 50 i picked for the number 10 spot to be kit fisto a super awesome episode 2 kit fisto figure kit fisto is a character that i really enjoyed in the clone wars I kind of wish that this Kit Fisto figure was a Clone Wars one, like with the forearm armor, but I understand why they didn't do that. A movie figure is probably going to sell better than a cartoon character 10 times out of 10, or 9 times out of 10. So the Kit Fisto figure, a good figure, definitely worth its spot on the list. In spot number 9, the Carbonized Stormtrooper. The carbonized figures I've been very hit or miss on. I don't typically go for the carbonized figures all that much, but I did buy all three that came out this year, and the Stormtrooper impressed me the most, simply because it, it was just a different color of a Stormtrooper. It was shiny silver, it just looked really good, I could picture it as being a real thing in universe, and that's what sold it for me above the Boba Fett and the Darth Vader. Carbonized Stormtrooper is an awesome figure, definitely worth his spot at number nine. Spot number eight. Count Dooku, a figure that I have been waiting for since the line started, and he did not disappoint with awesome articulation. I really liked the lightsaber blade swinging effect piece that he came with. Super cool. They could have given him no accessories, so that was a neat one. Kind of wish that we got like electric hands with him. If we had that, probably would have pushed him a spot or two up the list, but an awesome figure, great likeness to Christopher Lee. I, I think it's definitely worth its position at number 8 on the list. Up next is Snowspeeder Luke in position number 7. Take your pick. The one that I got was the vintage carded one. The one that came in the regular line was the exact same figure. So, you know, I, take your pick. I got the vintage one. Snowspeeder Luke was an awesome look. I really loved that appearance from Battlefront 2, the original one. When I always played on Hoth, I always wanted to play as the Rebellion just so that I could get in as Luke Skywalker, jump up on the AT-AT walkers, hack him down with the lightsaber. Took forever. It was super sweet, though. That's just an awesome childhood memory, so maybe it's slightly sentimental. But the articulation on that figure is pretty top-notch for someone who's getting kind of like a bulky, you know, winter outfit. So I really think that he's earned a spot in number seven. In spot number six is the Clone Wars Season 7 Ahsoka Tano. Awesome figure. It would have been higher on the list if it didn't have so much reuse. The... And, you know, the reuse wasn't horrible. I hated the feet on the Rebels Ahsoka. She was very hard to make stand up. This figure suffers from that same thing. The legs are not accurate, but, you know, I mean, the rest of the figure more or less is. The forearms aren't accurate. Her left hand is really weird because it was meant, it was sculpted to hold, you know, that flat lightsaber hilt like she had in Rebels. So you really had to, like, fight it and stretch it open and just didn't naturally rest on that lightsaber when you put it in the hand. So there were some gripes with that figure, but 
overall, I really do like that figure. I love the character. It's a good figure. It was a pain in the ass to find because it was a Walmart exclusive, but I did get my hands on it, and I definitely think that it's worthy of number six out of the entire year. In spot number five, Clone Commander Bly. An awesome clone commander that we don't really know a whole ton about because all he did was shoot Ayla Sakura and show up in that one season, one of the Clone Wars, you know, two-part arc. The Clone Wars didn't really flesh him out too much. He was just a clone trooper commander who just, you know, did as he was told. And that's totally fine. And that, you know, I've got nothing wrong with that. But he looks cool. Came with neat accessories. I really like the flip-down helmet-mounted binoculars. Just really awesome figure, one that I had a lot of fun with. Didn't even mind him being on the old clone trooper body. Up next, in spot number four, is the brand new white stormtrooper. So, they, the Imperial Stormtrooper got a resculpt this year, which upped the articulation to the max. I was sentimental at first about the original Stormtrooper body mold. I even went and did a whole ton of figure photography with all the variants and did a video on the original body mold. And you can definitely find that. It's, it, it's a video that I put a lot of effort into, and I don't really think it's gotten a lot of love, but that's fine. It hasn't been hated on, just hasn't been found. But that was an awesome video, and this figure's awesome. He's just a white stormtrooper, but you can get so many more neat poses out of him. I'm super happy with him. Definitely a worthwhile upgrade. In spot number three is the Phase 1 clone from the most recent wave. I love the new clone trooper body mold even more than the new stormtrooper body mold. Albeit marginally. I really like the Clone Troopers more than the Storm Troopers, just objectively in-universe. Storm Troopers are neat, Clone Troopers are cool. And that's mostly just because we haven't really had a lot of fleshed-out Storm Trooper characters, but we've had all sorts of clones from the Clone Wars. So I kind of gravitate more towards that prequel era stuff. I really like that Phase 1 clone. Just he looks awesome. And this is one of the figures that really started to make me not like the fa the original Clone Trooper body mold so much. I don't hate that body mold, but this figure definitely helped get me out of the funk about it being replaced, because I thought it was unnecessary. In spot number two for the year is Princess Leia in her Endor gear, also from the most recent wave. This figure was one that I was not anticipating being this into. I didn't think I was going to hate it. I wasn't going into this thing it was going to be a bad figure, but there hasn't been a Princess Leia that really just knocked my socks off. You know, the the Hoth Leia and the Bespin Leia, they were pretty good. The likenesses were there, and they were neat outfits, and I liked those figures. There hasn't been a Leia figure I hated, except maybe the Boosh Leia, but the Endor Leia really I had to buy two. Well, I got one of them with a free GameStop figure coupon. But I was going to buy a second one if I didn't get that coupon. But the poncho and the helmet is one look. You take that off. You've got her tactical outfit from, like, the final battle at the end of the movie. It is just an awesome-looking figure. I had to get two because I wanted one with the poncho and one without. The Luke and the Han, you know, you put that trench coat and the poncho on them. That's fine because when you take those off, you've got figures that we've already had. This Leia was a total surprise. I just really loved what we got here. It was a, it was an unexpected gem in the wave, and I am super happy that Hasbro made it. And it honestly would have been number one if the next figure just wasn't slightly better. Now, before we get into the figure that I consider the best one of the year, I'm going to go ahead and bring up some honorable mentions. Now, these were not put into any particular order, but when I was scrolling through the list, I was just kind of writing down the ones that I thought were exceptionally good, and I ended up with 13, so I had to cut three, and these are the three that I cut. So there's no particular order in these three, but the first one being the Stormtrooper Commander from The Force Unleashed. It was a GameStop Gaming Greats exclusive, and it was just a repaint of the original Stormtrooper, but it had some really good paint apps, some really nice subtle weathering to it, and it's a figure that I was sentimental to the content it came from so i really did like getting this figure and honestly any stormtroopers are good with me i really like this one but the 10 that i put above it are just better you know and this isn't bad this is still in like the top 25 percent of the year for me 
Next, and again, no particular order, it's just how I wrote them down, is the Gaming Greats Purge Trooper with the Electro Staff. Now, that's one that I was really excited to get. I actually pre-ordered six of them. I don't regret pre-ordering six of them. I'm super happy with them. And I just, I love that figure. But everything else that I've said before now, I think is just a better figure. It's still an objectively good figure, really cool figure. And I think that it's just, it's a good figure. I, I think that you wouldn't be hurting yourself to put them in your collection. And last, and, and you know the Commander and the Purge Trooper are probably above this one, even though I said there's no particular order, is the Sith Jet Trooper from Rise of Skywalker. I loved the Jet Trooper figure. Now, you know, I know a lot of people kind of knocked the design for having the super narrow eye slit. I always kind of imagined that it was kind of like an Iron Man sort of thing where you don't really see through the eyes. There's a pop-up screen inside. And But, you know, the Jet Trooper I really liked... The armor was slightly bulky, but the posability was still there, so it was really just kind of a marvel for me. And then Sith Jet Trooper was just that guy in red, and I really liked that figure too. I have two of them, I want to get two more, and they're cheap now, so it's really easy to army build him. And uh, he's just, he, he's objectively a, a good figure. It's one of those figures where I just had a lot of fun posing him all the time. So it was one that I would randomly pick up off the shelf, and I'd go sit down and watch some TV and just kind of fiddle with and find neat poses, and that's fine. And it's a figure that's just made me very happy. So whether you liked the Rise of Skywalker or not doesn't really matter. I think he's a really cool figure, and you should pick him up. And now for my number one figure of 2020, the Walmart-exclusive Clone Wars 332nd Clone Trooper. Another clone on this new body mold. The second one on the new body mold. The first one on the body mold was the Kamino clone, and I really did like that figure, but it was just kind of like a niche clone and not one I was super attached to from their one appearance in the Clone Wars. But the 332nd clone, I feel, was done very well. I, the articulation worked well for him. I liked the subtle scrapes in the blue paint just to indicate weathering. There was some variation that was factory error on a little bit of the alignment of the Ahsoka markings on the helmet, but that made them all look individual, which really made it work well for me. I just really loved this figure. I mean, it's just one that I keep coming back to and saying, wow, that's an awesome figure. And, you know, we only got four figures from the season finale, or the series finale, I mean, also a season finale in a way. And... If they hadn't picked the 332nd to be one of those four, it would have been a massive shame. Because those were awesome clones, and it is an awesome figure. And I cannot stop saying the word awesome about it. It's a figure that has just made me so happy to have in my collection. Actually, right before recording this, I sealed the deal on a trade in a collector group to get a fourth so that I could have an even number of them. And I would like to have six in, in the grand scheme of things. So, overall, this is my list. You can agree or disagree. That's absolutely fine. It's all my personal opinion. If you had some favorite figures this year, I'd love to hear you drop them in the comments down below. Interaction is always fun. Like, and, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please don't dislike. I mean, I, I put effort in, please. And subscribe to the channel. There's always Black Series content coming out. Plenty of that to come in the future, of course. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. It means a lot to me. Hopefully we can get some more good figures and have another good top 10 list in 2021. Some of the stuff that's been announced for pre-order is already really exciting. So that's it for now. And until next time, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.